the 23rd annual Cinegear Expo here at Paramount Studios in the heart of Hollywood, California, bringing the biggest opportunities for manufacturers, technicians and artists alike. Hi, I'm Kaylee Hewlett from In Cinematographer and I'm here at Cinegear. I'm joined by Gary from Moses. So Gary, welcome to Cinegear. How's What's, it going? You know, can I say my last name? <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Hi, it's, it's good to be here. It's yeah. nice and cold. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually very hot here and it's very busy. Yeah, it's, very it's very good busy. for business. Yeah. So how many years for you here at Cinegear? Oh, I don't know. We're, we're a 20-year-old company. This is my first year at Cinegear, actually. I've been at NAB many times, but this is my first year at Cinegear. So talking about Cinegear, what are you showing here this year? We're showing a couple of products. We're showing way back there. We have our B20 Broadcast 20 head, our remote head for, for broadcast. Then over here... We have our L40 head, 40 for 40 kilo payload, and we uh, have the pan and tilt wheels that we control it with, predominantly for film. It's a very, very popular um, head of late. It replaces our industry standard called the Lambda. Wow. And so what product, or if there is one, are you specifically excited about? Well, it's not here at the show because it's very, very new, but I'm really excited about something called... Star Tracker VFX, which is a new tracking system for visual effects. It's specifically a film product. It's based on our Star Tracker camera tracking product for broadcast applications, but this one is not a real time product. It's a product that takes our Star Tracker tracking technology. Um, it's, it's a plug in to Unreal, um, Epic Games' Unreal rendering engine, and we take that, combine it with um, motion capture. And output, um, we also use time code. So we can output time code and a single FBX file format for post rendering composition for the film people for visual effects. I do remember your stand at NAB this year, and I have to say it was very impressive, and you had quite the audience. That's very exciting. Thank you. So what do you think the future looks like? It looks like you're very much at the front edge with, with the equipment that you have. What do you think is coming? We are. Well, first of all, the the AR, VR, real-time stuff is just really starting to take off after 25 years of that technology being around. The advent of Star Tracker simplifying camera tracking and making it very, very reliable and using gaming engines such as Unreal and Unity to really enhance the quality of photorealism. So now we have a very, very good combination of simplicity and photorealism that's taking the industry to the next level. Um, the other thing is, because of our VFX product, we're now going to have the ability to have film uh, filmmakers and visual effects supervisors using this technology, we hope, on a daily basis, and really, really um, expanding their creative capabilities, because they're going to be able to see in real time what the talent juxtaposed against the special effects is going to look like instead of waiting for the composition later on in the day or even the next day. I have to say it's really exciting times. Now where can people go if they want to find out some information? They can go to our website, www.mosis.com, M-O-S-Y-S.com. Thank you so much, Gary. Have a great Thank show. You. Thank you so much. This is Kaylee Hewlett coming to you from In Cinematographer.